This is my second year in the program, the PTEC program, um, and my track is actually towards the um, civil engineering. I have four to five more years left in the program, I would say. I took PLTW, which was engineering, and I took a PTEC class. Um, in the PTEC class, we did construction, uh, well, we built boat bags, we made bridges, we did some more stuff as well. And the engineering class, we uh, we actually made our, like a carnival game. Going through school and stuff like that, we tend to forget simple math. So going through that actually helped a lot. The class I'm in is actually construction. That class is actually an interactive class. We can, you know, work together and stuff like that. And so, you know, engaging in conversation, engaging with our peers, it's a really nice experience. Back in my freshman year, when we did the mentor meetings, uh, like we heard from everybody else's perspective. It was everybody's like thoughts, which gave into the creativity that made the project what it is now. I struggled with my attendance a lot, and so now this year, I understand the importance of being on time, because, you know, like, at college, they won't, like, accept the work if you turn it in late. So, I now understand I have to come to school on time, do my work, get there on time, and engage in the class. Now I know what's expected of me, and, um, and what the real world is actually like once I leave high school. My name is Amaya. I spent two years into in the program, and my focus is civil, and I'm planning on spending three to four years in the program. I have two classes still this year, but they're college classes, and one is mostly focused on like cultural identity, like gender identity, identity social identity, like basically your whole identity, and one is mostly focused on how to learn to uh, lead construction. The so classes last year had like set college expectations of like what we were, were supposed to be expected for for the college classes, and we also participated in like little field trips about the college, and we did little projects about like the the topics that we're gonna learn in the uh, college classes basically next year. All the field trip we went went on, and all the opportunities we also got to have, especially with the mentors from the mentor meeting, we get we got to have just keep in contact with them where they can help us get a job through the program, which I think is the biggest benefit because the whole point of this program is to basically is to help you get a job um, um, doing construction or something engineering based. And so if the mentors help you have more of a chance of getting them. The mentor me is where we got to sit at a table with some of my peers and two to three mentors depending and we did many challenges like building like like a launcher maybe out like with the sticks or something like just like basic problem solving with different building challenges some things that i would never have thought of they did so like really put into a different perspective of how oh we could do it this way instead of like this way if that makes more sense at first it was like it was really interesting and it was fun because we were building a few like things like a paper tower or a bridge or like a seat for a stuffed animal. But then as like the year progressed, it was more like complex thing. As a freshman, uh, it was definitely stressful at times, but there was it was also a lot of fun. We had the PTEC class and the engineering class, the PLTW. Um, the PLTW class was just computer-based stuff like CAD, and we were learning how to design stuff, things like that. And the POTW class, it was just a mix of a bunch of things. Uh, we would build stuff with Legos, make a, we made a book bag at one point with a bunch of cardboard. A lot of focus on the engineering design process. Even though I'm uh, in the PTEC program, I'm a PTEC student, I still am involved in a few different but not sports like football and wrestling. And I, you can obviously balance both of them because that's what I'm doing. It is like a little bit more stressful because sports do take up a lot of time and the college classes, you're expected to do that on your own time, a lot of the work. The two classes I'm taking this year for CCBC are uh, Husk and Construction 101. Construction 101 is just like blueprint reading and learning how to do that stuff and measurements. 
And the husk one is just like cultural identity and like how you identify yourself and other people. I think it prepared us pretty well. I think it definitely matured us. And with the strict deadlines and due dates for work to be turned in, it definitely prepared us for that so we weren't caught by surprise. I definitely think the biggest benefit of being a part of the PTAG program is the experience we get from working with other peers. We get to learn how all of our other peers think uh, and our mentors that are there, they tell us about their experiences and their jobs and what they do. And it helps us look forward to any internships that we could possibly have with those business businesses in the future. My name is Brad. Uh, I am a 12th grader. Um, I've been in the program for four years now. Um, supposed to be my last year. Uh, I'm on the civil engineering track. Uh, so I started dual enrollment in 10th grade. Um, and I've been basically on a mostly college schedule for the last four semesters and a partial college schedule for my first. So um, right now I'm in five classes at CCBC and two at the high school. And again, it's been that way for about four semesters so far. So I came in, ninth grade year was a little skeptical. Um, we were doing projects, talking about college and career, that type of stuff. So by the time I got into 10th grade year, I was taking two classes a semester at CCBC, I believe. Um, I started off with CAD and uh, communications, or it was CAD and blueprint reading. Now, for the last two years, I've been in a mostly CCBC schedule, taking most of my credits over there. I'm only over here first period. And then for pretty much the rest of the day, it's, um, it's over there. So I get a lot of free time, a lot of breaks. It's harder work, um, obviously, because it's college. It's example-based instead of work-based. So, um, and I, I prefer that type. That was just kind of taking like gen ed classes as I started, and then as I got more into it, now it's more specialized civil engineering classes. And, um, and it's cool having, because um, the professors, they're specialized in that. So uh, they had like long careers in, you know, engineering. And um, after that, they moved on to be college professors. So they're very knowledgeable and um, it's easy to learn from them. So far, I've been going to college for free, which is great. Um, a degree is very helpful, getting a career. Um, personally, I, I don't plan on continuing college. So after next semester, I, I graduate, I get my associate's degree. And then, um, then I intern. So I start my internship, most likely with Whiting Turner. Um, and uh, from there, I plan to get hired. Hopefully that happens. And if it does, I mean, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna climb the ladder and um, see what I can do. But I don't, I don't think I'm gonna go that far with school, unless they, were, unless they ask me to. But um, I, I think my, my ideal would be just to learn from, from experience. Most students don't do this, but I'm supposed to graduate high school and college at the same time. The structure of the program feels, it feels like it's been designed to be a six-year program. We have six years to complete it. Most students complete in like five. I, I requested I get um, accelerated. It's nice, I like, I like my pacing, personally. I mean, I don't mind taking seven classes. I'd be taking eight over here. Like I said earlier, I get a lot of breaks throughout my day, throughout the school day. I try to get most of my work done while I'm in school. So I have, on Friday, I have a two hour gap because one of my classes runs Monday, Wednesday, but I'm all Friday. So I have a two hour gap in the middle of my day and I can use that for homework. Every day I have a guaranteed one hour gap somewhere. So um, I try to squeeze my homework in where I can. Hello, my name is Shaylee. I was uh, in the program for five years. I am now working at RKNK, a engineering firm down in Baltimore. I am in the roadways uh, department and I work for the Delaware Group. As a freshman, I was very excited for free college. I was very excited for uh, the full-time job offer that was made at the end. Um, and just excited to 
get out there and take college classes while I was in high school. It was just a really exciting time. We weren't taking many hard classes in the beginning. We were starting this off easy. Uh, then in 10th grade, we started our AutoCAD and blueprint reading. Um, and then COVID hit, so it took a bit of hit on everyone. But we did it as a group and we moved forward. And by the end, I think overall, it was a really good experience. I got to meet a lot of people um, and make a lot of good connections. It's different from other people's internships, but it was really good overall and I think it helped a lot. I was um, moving around a lot of products that the company sold or used and I got to meet a lot of people that weren't part of BTEC and were interns and I got to make connections with them. Um, a lot of things that they were talking about, maybe be plans or whatever they were doing, I was able to understand because of the things I've learned through BTEC. So it definitely helped a lot to make those connections with those people. I think that we almost all had the same experience, almost all had the same knowledge. Um, of course, some people were a bit you know, more advanced than others, right? But um, yeah, I met a lot of people, two people that I still am cont in contact with, and we knew around the same amount of stuff, so it was really good to see. The biggest benefit of PTA, I think, would be the connections that we're able to make. The AutoCAD class again, which is my favorite class that I ever took. Um, it translates really well to what we use here, which is MicroStation. So that helped me definitely in my career now, as well as my communication skills that I learned through my communication class that I took through PTA. Um, it's helping me out with a presentation that I have coming up for my new hire orientation. I'm a bit nervous, but I think I'll be able to do all right here. Yeah.